What would you do if you had a hundred years to shape the world however you would want? Well, in the game, The Hundred Year Kingdom, you can do just that. The story is simple. You, the creator, and a mythical young goddess must work together and combine your skills and powers to guide the emergence of a brand new civilization. You only have a century to make this happen. The gameplay loop is simple. You choose a kingdom and a goddess to work with and begin the hundred year countdown. Each turn equates to one year and during a turn you can only do one action. This essentially involves you picking your tile and building upon it. You can also skip ahead a year if you do not have the required resources to build on a tile. The three resources are food, production and culture shown at the top of the screen. For most of the progression, you will need food and production, with culture being needed for certain advanced buildings, called legacies, and for unlocking special tiles like ancient ruins or mountain tiles. The legacies are buildings themed after famous landmarks, such as the Taj Mahal or the pyramids. Each legacy tile provides resources based on a certain building. For example, one of the legacies provides production equal to a number of wineries you have multiplied by 30. So if you do the math, these bonuses can add up very quickly with four wineries providing 120 production through having this legacy tile. Finding the best ways to synergize legacies and their attendant buildings provides the game with a certain level of complexity. Apart from this, the game itself is very simple. Each map has a different layout and a number of unique tiles such as island tiles, sea tiles, or desert tiles. You can choose to use these tiles or simply ignore them. There are eight maps in the Hundred Year Kingdom with each map taking about an hour to complete. At the end of each century, you get a score and some experience points for the goddess who assisted you. As the goddess levels up, their specific legacy tiles gain better benefits. Whilst building each kingdom, the goddess of your choice will accompany you through the century. The goddess gives you useful information and on occasion finds resources for you. The visuals are charming, but I will say some of the details on the tiles gets lost. I played it in a docked mode on a screen and it still seemed a little hard to figure out what each tile was clearly displaying. In handheld mode, this was only made worse. The drawings of the characters are delightful and each of them felt unique. The music in the Hundred Year Kingdom is fantastic. It is quaint and relaxing and fits the cozy nature of the game. In particular, the choice of sound effects for each action is particularly well done. Also note there is no voice acting in the Hundred Year Kingdom. Unfortunately, the Hundred Year Kingdom is let down by its maps. It would have been much better if the maps were procedurally generated, adding extra replayability into the game. The Hundred Year Kingdom is one of those games that are easy to play or kill time with. However, it's not a game that's going to be spending much time in your mind after you put it down. Thanks for watching my review. Let me know down in the comments if you plan to pick this one up or if you have already played it. Until next time. Bye-bye.